Well, Stephanie knows a lot about us, but probably everyone else doesn't. And so I'll have to tell you a little about who we are. Um, personally, I was born again... Well, I had an encounter with the Holy Spirit in 1999, uh, in November. Uh, just about a month to the year 2000, which was... Uh, what I desired was to, to know God by the year 2000. I didn't know him before then. And so I set myself a goal to know him by the year 2000. So when I had my encounter with the Holy Spirit, you can see how faithful he is to keep, you know, to, to honour the word that I said to know him by then. So, you know, we serve a really good God. And from then, um, I felt a, a strong desire to become an evangelist. I really, really did from, in fact, even before I received the Holy Spirit, when I was studying the word, I, I would tell all my friends and so on um, about Jesus. And I did that for a little while before, um, started studying the scriptures a couple of day, a couple of years before I was filled with the Holy Spirit for myself at home. So, but I'm not going to go into a personal testimony, but I'm just saying that because Really, my life has always been evangelistic and mission orientated, and God put me with my beautiful wife, um, who I met in 2003 by revelation. Uh, I have to tell you that another time. And we went on our honeymoon. Um, God showed me where to go in a vision. We went there, and we thought we were going to have a two week honeymoon like every other couple, but it turned into a mission. And that nation was Jamaica. And now Jamaica's hitting the news. And a lot of people don't really understand about Jamaica. Most people think it's a paradise island, which it is. Um, but it's a paradise island with extreme poverty. So it's a third world country. So as Brits, we don't really have an understanding of that. Americans do, because they have tons of missionaries go there all the time with supplies and medical needs and gospel and you name it, the Americans are always down there. With the pandemic, that all stopped. So nobody was going to Jamaica. Um, and we've been going and coming to Jamaica since 2010. So we've had times we've been there and then we had a five year stint back in England. And then in 2019, we went. Um, and we were hoping and expecting lots of people from England to join us. And of course, as you know, the pandemic hit and everyone was, you know, bound to the country. Um, and then all the Americans stopped coming as well. So suddenly we're in Jamaica kind of on our own and we're linked up with a local church, which is essential. You've got to be. And God really did some wonderful things out there. We, I think the, the last count we had was 61 people we baptised in a period from 2019 to, which is April, which is about now, um, no, next month, until we came back in December last year. Um, and we just had an amazing time. I mean, it's, it's a wonderful country out there. Um, the people are really open to God. Um, it's easy to speak about God with them. And they have such an awareness of Jesus. Um, the difference is that many of them don't want to repent and turn to Jesus and accept him as, as their Lord. Um, they know that he's a saviour, but very often they just want to carry on living the life that they're living. And they don't want to give up their party life, drunken life, whatever it is they've got. Um, usually until something bad happens, which is common to all mankind. You know, that's not unique for Jamaica. Um, it's the same here. We've been ministering in England for a long, long time, um, longer than Jamaica. We, we've had a church in England as well, a home church. and. Again, we saw plenty of people saved there. Um, 
that's over a decade ago. It, unfortunately, you know, people wait until something bad happens before they turn to God. Um, my advice is always turn to God while the going is good. But do we do that? No. <laughs> I don't know anyone who does. So, yeah, that's, we've been there as a family. Um, we've, some of our children are musical. They've um, enjoyed playing instruments in different churches, including our own regular one there. When I say our own, it's the one we partner with. Um, it, I find it always works well that we partner rather than have our own church because what happens when we go? The whole thing will collapse. So the good thing about partnering is there's continuity. So, and and we're, we're kingdom-minded people. We see one body. You know, there may be many denominations, but Jesus doesn't have lots of brides. He has just one. Yes. And that's us who are saved by grace and filled with the Spirit of God.